In this video, we will add self-service password reset to your Office 365 tenant. Within the Office 365 Admin Center, click Show All, scroll down to the bottom, and go to All Admin Centers. From All Admin Centers, go to Azure Active Directory. Inside of Azure Active Directory, click Self-Service Password Reset to enable your users to reset their forgotten passwords. And in the bottom left, click Configure. Create a group name. I'm going to call mine SSPR Test. And then click Members. I'm going to add a couple members to this test. Click Select again. And then click Enable. Notice in the upper right, successfully enabled self-service password reset. Then click Azure Active Directory on the left-hand side. And then scroll down to Password Reset. And notice we have selected password resets enabled. Also notice these settings only apply to end users, so administrators are always enabled for self-service password reset. Here's the password policies and restrictions in Azure Active Directory. You can browse through this document. Also towards the bottom, how do I complete a successful rollout of self-service password reset? Complete a pilot rollout with a small subset for your organization. Educate your help desk. Assign URLs. In this case, for registration, it's aka.ms slash sspr setup, and to reset, aka.ms slash sspr. There's also communications guidelines with emails pre-configured that you can send out to your users. Notice we have coming soon, available now, setup reminder. There are also available posters, table tents, and stickers. You can create your own password portal that points to one of these portals. So to test password reset or to enable password reset, I'm going to go to aka.ms slash sspr. And notice it says you cannot reset your password because I do not have password write back enabled. To enable password write back, go to your domain controller with Azure AD Connect, open Azure AD Connect, customize synchronization options, next. Next again, next again, check password right back, next. Configure.
and exit. Now that right back is configured for my tenant, I can go to registration, aka.ms slash SSPR setup. I have an authentication phone that's set up and an authentication email to set up. And then you verify that. Let's look at the types of verification capability requirements you can set. We'll go back to Azure Active Directory properties, password reset properties, Azure Active Directory, password reset properties and look at authentication methods below properties. Number of methods required to reset and what's allowed. I'm going to allow the mobile app notification, mobile app code, or security questions. And I can set how many security questions required to register, how many questions required to set, and then I can configure what those security questions are going to be. I can enable whichever ones of these as the administrator I want to allow and then click OK. Then choose OK. And then choose Save. Then choose Registration. Require users to register when signing in, yes or no. And confirm information. Choose notifications. Notify users on password resets. Yes. Notify all admins when other admins reset their password. I'm going to change that to a yes as well. Customization. I can create a customized help desk link if I like. On premises integration, if I have right back enabled, Write back passwords to my on-premises Active Directory, yes. Allow users to unlock without resetting their password. I have that set to no. All right, well, let's go try it. Go to ak.ms slash sspr. Put my phone number in there, enter my verification code. I configured it to require two forms of verification. I made up these answers, so I'm trying to remember what they are.
And there we have it. Enter your new password. And self-service password reset is now configured.